this is Daniel um, and in this video I'm going to do, give you a quick review of how I can build an app which has a screen with the radio buttons option um, and the app itself can update two SharePoint lists at the same time. So what you see over here is a uh, SharePoint online site, um, I call it the test site and the key thing over here is it has two lists, I've named them as uh, radio to single line and radio to single line um, two. Um, the uh, radio to single line is a list which has uh, which records basically the requester, request type, employee, um, and employee status. Uh, and just to give you an overview, the demo that I'm using is um, when a new asset or a new device is purchased for a either a new hire um, who can be both you know full time or contractor. Uh, one list records the um, you know whether the requester was a manager or what it what is the request type if it's an upgrade and the employee status so that that's recorded in one list and what the second list does is it records the id number of that first list the list we just saw over here and then it records the the manufacturer the device and the model and the accessory of the device that's been uh, uh, purchased for this new hire so these are the two lists now let's go ahead and take a look at the form itself. Um, and for this example, I am going to use uh, my Power App on my iPhone, and that's the Power App that I have over here. As the form opens up, I mean the app opens up over here. Um, the app I have is the first one, which is radio to single line, the one that's a gray in color. This one over here. I'll go ahead and click on that. And what I'm doing so far is I am select I'm clicking on the to add a new item. And by default, the title is radio to single line, so I'll leave that as it is. Um, the requester, let's say that I'm a manager, so I'm gonna use this radio button. Um, the request type, let's say it's an upgrade, and the employee is an existing full-time. So by doing that uh, and clicking on the choose device, this information is going to be stored on that first list that I sh showed you. So I click on choose device, and now it takes me to the next screen. Right on the top over here, you see the primary ID. That's the ID number of that first list that I just showed you. Um, and then over here, uh, these uh, cascading drop downs. Um, the, the way I built this is very similar to a uh, blog that I wrote on Power Apps. Um, and um, that's exactly how I've made this cascading over here. So for the sake of this example, let's say I select um, Microsoft. The device is a tablet and say it is a pro and the accessory is a pen so now i'll go ahead and click submit and so you see over here on the top i have the 41 which is the um the request i just put in if i go ahead and click on that um, it is giving me a review of um, all the information i just put in over here so that's the app now if we go ahead and take a look at the list i'm going to go back over here let me go to that home page since i had both the lists on one page and now you can see that this one over here is the new item that i just put in and since i made connections if i click on this connector here you will see the new item on the secondary list as well so this is just a quick review of how i was able to build an app um, using power apps uh, where I can use radio buttons and the app itself can go ahead and update two SharePoint lists at the same time. So stay tuned for the blog which I'll be posting on the Power Apps forum. Thanks.